I watched the Fred Williamson classic Soda Cracker. Have you heard of this one? I've not heard of that one. Have you ever heard anybody call saltines soda crackers? I've never heard this terminology. Nor have I until I watched the movie Soda Cracker, starring and directed by America's Rose, Fred Williamson. Uh, It's called Soda Cracker because he eats them. So his (laughs) cop buddies nicknamed him Soda. And they keep calling him Soda throughout the movie. So I got a little smirk every time they uh, said that shit. But uh, in this one, Fred Williamson is a cop who plays by his own rules. So Soda has nothing to do with his cocaine addiction then. Now he just, he likes to eat crackers. Okay. <laughs> and not white girls. Women, holes, white women. Yeah. No, he is in a relationship with them. Again, because unless it's a Larry Cohen movie, he's always in a romantic relationship with a white lady. I've noticed that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, his partner gets shot outside a Cubs game. And, uh, you know, he doesn't really give a fuck. He he runs to him. He's like, oh, he's dead. And then he goes to try and find the gunman. And now he's out for revenge to uh, take down the gunman, which is a guy who he knows who he is, who did it, but he can't prove it. And then uh, the evil guy who shot his I was going to say boyfriend, but his fucking partner. <laughs> Uh, he starts killing everybody who's close to Soda Cracker, and he really doesn't seem to give a fuck. Like, he'll run up to the person who just died, and he's just like, Ugh, and then he just goes out for revenge. So, like, <laughs> the whole plot of the movie is him wanting to kill this guy who killed his partner and everyone's close to him. But when they die, he doesn't really show any emotion about it. He doesn't even stop for a second and go, (laughs) even when his fucking girlfriend dies, he doesn't like, like embrace her or anything like that. It's just like, oh, gotta go get him. Gotta go get him. And then he gets him. He kills him. He gets up, walks away, and the credits start. (sighs) Like, Fred Williamson was Fred Williamson in it. So if you're a Fred Williamson fan, he delivers on that part. But uh, the movie really isn't that good. The uh, best laugh I had in it where they're outside the Cubs game, him and his partner's talking, and Fred Williamson's getting stared down by some kids. And he's just like, go on, go on, get out of here. Just go see the game or whatever. And his partner's like, like that, they're going to grow up thinking that we're all pigs. He's just like, yeah, we should teach him a lesson. You get the little one with the with the curly hair, and I'll get the other one and kick him in the nuts. <laughs> that just made me laugh, thinking of Fred Williamson kicking a little kid in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, beyond that, it's... It's not the best. There's a lot of fucking filler in it. There's like legit 10, 12 minutes of just filler. Like uh, there's a club scene where they let the lady sing her whole song, not just a highlight reel, the best of it's the whole song. And they're just panning to people in the audience, just smoking and smiling, listening to this fucking lady (laughs) sing and goes on for a while, Joe. Goes on from uh, Rudy Ray Moore there. Huh? No, I mean, those are a little more entertaining just because of how ridiculous everything is. And there's a lot of rump shaking and shit like that. But yeah, this one. Ah, I wish I could say it was as fucking awesome as Night Vision, but it wasn't. So, uh, yeah. I think it was called something else. I can't remember, but uh, I can't recommend it. Unless you're a Fred Williamson fan, then I guess watch it. But Which is why you watch it. Pretty much. Pretty much. 